top model is going to be crowned tonight at 8 o'clock on the CW. Now, the judges, including me, will announce their winner. But today, top model fans are going to get a chance to decide their favorite top model. And later on, we're going to tell you how to vote on TyraShow.com. But right now, it's time to get to know the remaining finalists and a little better so that you can figure out who should win the big prize. Okay, so we are voting for who we think should be the winner. You got that? And the, the model that gets the most votes from you guys gets a prize of six months free rent or lease on a fabulous New York apartment that is worth $20,000. As a new model, you gotta move to New York, you know. And but they're not only getting the chance to move to New York, you guys are helping them to with their living accommodations. New York is the most expensive rent in the country. Okay, now my whole audience is divided into sections that are each cheering for one of the girls left in the competition. Cycle 13. You want to be on top? Cycle 13 of the top model is given a whole new meaning to being on top. It has been my dream for so long to open up top model to the little girl. If there is any little girl over 5'7", you are going to go out of this room right now. That's right, y'all. This cycle, we're breaking down barriers by opening up the world of high fashion to women, 5'7 and under. You may be 5'2", but you have to walk at least six feet tall. And it's caused quite a stir. <laughs> and let me pull a little mama in saying, these shorties got loose. Hit it, boys! So with just one episode left, all the world wants to know just who's gonna be on top. So again, the audience is divided into all of the different colors. I'm wearing black on purpose so that I can look as unbiased as possible. Now our first finalist for America's fan favorite top model is Laura. a top model fresh off the farm. I castrate cows. Ooh. And underneath that country girl facade is some fierceness just waiting to get out. That girl is amazing. That is Giselle type of posing. And Laura has a secret that has become a strong challenge for her. I'm severely dyslexic. Even teachers have told me that I'm just stupid. But Laura's charm and personality are carrying her through. She's a lovely, charming girl. So, will our country girl be crowned America's next top model? today, a little <laughs> different than when Laura would walk into the judging room. Every single week that Laura would come into the judging room, she was wearing something interesting that the judges, that caught the judge's eye. Tell everybody what you were wearing. Well, my grandmother makes most of my clothes, and when I found out I was on top of my, I was like, Grandma, you better get to sewing. <laughs> <laughs> so she sewed stuff for you. Okay, let's check out Laura uh, when she took us back to her hometown. Check her out.
surprise fans who are here to cheer Laura on. We got her sister, her daddy, and her grandmama. Come on out here, Miss Wanda Sue Hannah and Greg. reasons that people should vote for Laura. What do you think? She's not afraid to get dirty. Yeah, and we saw that. We had, <laughs> we had a good time when we were little. We'd play in this mud hole and grandma would get mad and spray us down with the water hose. <laughs> and what else? What else, Dad? She taught me how to smile. <laughs> she taught you how to smile. top model with Laura too which yeah. I find amazing now I have a sewing machine station set up in Laura's cheering section and Miss Wanda Sue's gonna finish up a dress that she has over there and guess who the dress is for me <laughs> Miss Wanda Sue. Good, I'm going to uh, be proud. And I'm going to make it high fashion. That's what Laura said, yeah. high fashion. <laughs> All right, go on to the cheering station and we'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, your inside peek into the petite top model's home life continues. Will it sway your vote for fan favorite? And later, Grandma made me a dress and I'm rocking it on the runway. My runway. It's the incredible.